Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Legacy Football. Six box, pick your team number 15 from a fresh master case. Big thanks to everyone here for filling this up straight up. The second half is in the store and that 25% off discount is still on. So get into it. All right, so let's grab the case. Heavy. I love to lift with my, my legs. <laughs> All right. Actually, let's move this paperwork out of the way for a second. All right. There's the master case. So there's one inner case and another inner case right here. So we're doing half, it's a six box break, so we're doing, these are 12 box inner, so we're doing half of an inner case. So we're gonna select one die, we'll select that. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's three, so we're gonna do the left side. And this will be for next time. So pick your teams for next time. And now we've got this side here. I don't know if there's this. I mean, we just kind of did this. We had this case, I think, delivered to us recently. I don't know if it was a sale on Legacy or not, because your LCS has boxes for, for sale as well. All right, let's select another die. Let's select that one. One, two, three for the left six, four, five, six for the right six. And it's six, so it's the right side. So this side we will save for break 16, which is on the site right now. So we're gonna turn Ladanian Tomlinson into number 16 right here. We've got we've got time. We do have a late night tonight, so we have time to run that back uh, tonight if you want to. All right. So once again, a reminder. Of the list once again. Thank you very much, everybody, for getting in. And we got the Clippers at Jazz on in the background. And just pre just recently, Milwaukee just the Bucks won a very exciting game. Low scoring, but it was exciting. And Utah's already up 15 to, tw well it's 15 to nine, but the Clippers just hit a three. All right, good luck. Remember, there are those rip cards, those dare to tear cards in here. If you're watching live, if you're in the chat and I pull a uh, dare to tear card for you, 
And if you want me to tear it, let me know. But I think most of the time people want to keep. I think there's a little more value in you keeping it, but that's up to you. Yeah, TJ says tear it. I mean, everyone has their different strategies of like, well, if it's this person, number to this, that you tear it, that you wouldn't tear, right? Damien has the Chargers. If he saw Justin Herbert dare to tear, he would not tear it. But maybe that's the one you do tear. I don't know. So it depends on how spicy people are feeling today. All right. We've got Christian Barmore. Rookie. Oh, you know what? I'm going to need a checklist here. All right, so obviously we're this has a checklist. We're going by the checklist. And I'll drop the link for you in the chat. And Christian Barmore is a Patriot. A New England Pat Riot. All right, and that's Karen with her Patriots. And there's TJ Vasher. Oh yeah, we, ha we have a list, right? Not the top 10 picks, but select players. Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddle, Devonta Smith, Justin Fields, Mac Jones, Kadarius Tony, and Najee Harris are on my list to sleeve so the team can top load it. Vasher goes to Dallas. And that'll be for William. Marshall Falk to 199. For Zach Wilson for Adam and the Jets. We got these little mini guys right here. There's Ryan Tannehill for Samuel and Tennessee Titans. There's James Robinson to 299. It's Justin Fields. Justin Fields for the Bears, of course. Uh, I want to say that Justin Fields has one as one of the, at least according to maybe Dick Sporting Goods or something like that, has one of the highest selling jerseys already. So it sounds like Bears fans are all in. There's Kyle Pitts for the Falcons, Chris. Tory Holt to 50. There's Mac Jones under the lights. There's Trevor Lawrence on this Kadarius Tony right here too. Nice Trevor Lawrence. 
Went from a tiguar, tiguar, a tiger to a jaguar. That'll be for Terry. There's Mini Joe Thomas to 100. There's Ronald Jones, a second. 93 out of 100. TJ's dad, Ron Jones. Is Kyle Trask on my list? No, he's not, but I already, I already got it. It's Ronald Jones to 100. And there's Najee Harris right there, who I believe is a stealer. It's going to go for Jeremy. All right, that was the first box. Second box. TJ, was there a specific... Do you, are you in this break? Oh, yeah, the Dolphins. Was there a specific rookie that you wanted me to sleeve up? Try to find one for you. Oh, he checked. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Did I miss any? Maybe I did. I'm sure we'll find some Waddles. Waddles on the list. Jalen Waddles on my list here. Yes, I, I definitely, I definitely will. I'm glad you reminded me. I kind of forgot. Next box, good luck. There's Derrick Henry, little mini Derrick Henry for Samuel and the Titans. And I'm sure you noticed by now, it's the the rookie cards will have the the brown stripes on the left and right side. There's Michael Thomas to 150. So in case you're thinking I'm just breezing through these haphazardly, I am not. The vet commons won't chip, so we're breezing by those. Justin Fields, DJ Chark tonight, 199, and a Michael Thomas to 150. Damien's looking for some Ladanian Tomlinson. Maybe Antonio Gates. Are they on the checklist? There's Seth Williams. Seth Williams is a Bronco. Went from a tiger, an Auburn tiger, to a horse. All right, my rivals, Denver, Addison, with the Broncos. Six 
Jamar Chase. And the yellow border to 150, Pat Fryermuth. There's our first Trey Lance for the Niners, Steven. And Alvin Kamara mini, green cracked ice to 25. Like a dark forest green kind of color here, or a deep emerald green. Pretty sharp. Ooh, oh, some waddle chrome, huh? I feel like we haven't seen... This is break 15 of the previous 14. I know I did a chunk of those. I feel like I personally have not seen a lot of Jalen Waddles. Like cards or, or hits. There's Joey B, 299. And we got Chuba Hubbard under the lights autograph. 77 out of 100. Chuba goes to the Carolina Panthers. And that's going to go to Patrick Davis. This is Zach Wilson right there for Adam and the Jets. There's Devonta Smith. For the Eagles, that'll be for Chris. Chris Maxwell with that. All right, next box. Mark saying, I hit. Congrats. A wa oh, oh, I hit a Waddle Auto a few breaks go to 199. Gotcha. Even so, they, they feel a little few and far between. Let's get some more. There's at least 198 more out there. Yeah, I did listen to the Shaq podcast on the Conan O'Brien podcast. We had John Krasinski on. Who's John Krasinski? Oh, he was on the sh Conan show before he was on The Office. Oh, you must be an American office, the bad one. Oh, I know who John Krasinski is. He's uh, in the new Jack Ryan show. There's Darius Leonard. He's pretty good in that. Darius Leonard mini goes to... The Colts, that'll be for Sanford. There's a Justin Fields right there, too. Mark Andrews to 100. Najee Harris. Jim from The Office and the director of A Quiet Place. Never seen A Quiet Place. It looks too too scary for me. Clippers 
I know him from Jack Ryan. From the Jack Ryan show on Amazon Prime. The Tom Clancy stuff. No, sorry. So I, I don't know if I'm as compelled to listen to to Mike Krasowski. Mr. 75. Shaq was compelling. That was a good. That was a good interview. To 199, Jalen Ragor. Another Devonta Smith. I feel like I've probably seen more of like his wife's movies before. It's married to like Emily Blunt, right? More of his wife's movies than than his stuff. There's Greg Rousseau. Uh, I think he is a Buffalo Bill. Buffalo! That'll be for Rick Thomas. Conan has Obama on at the end of May. That's probably a good interview. There's Davis Mills. There's Lance Briggs to 299. Probably. You know, this is pretty funny. Uh, especially at those correspondence dinners. W is pretty funny. I think Obama and W could go on tour. A little comedy tour. And there's Brevin Jordan, Futures, dual relic and autograph. That's 84 out of 299. Brevin Jordan, Texans, Houston. That's going to go to to Michael. Who won the draft? I don't know. I don't know if I like the who won the draft thing because you don't really know until these guys actually play, right? There's Michael Pittman Jr., 25. If the only Hall of Famer in the first round of that draft is Raiders offensive tackle Alex Leatherwood and everyone else is a bust, then the Raiders won the draft. So I feel like it's, I feel like it's kind of... It's kind of foolish to be like, all right, let's see who. But I guess without any games being played, who won the draft? I don't know. I mean, the Jaguars, you couldn't miss, right? The Jaguars had that number one pick, and then they made some good moves. But it's hard, it's hard to tell. I don't know if I like the who won the draft conversation. There's Zach Wilson. Yeah, I was happy with the Raiders picks. I mean, I love my Raiders, but they're not a very good team. They have a lot of work to do. But I think they, they addressed a lot of issues. Now, they've had some trouble drafting defense. So hopefully they got it right this year. I don't mind the reach for Alex Leatherwood. I've heard I've heard that the strategy is you know, cuz they could have taken like some like a cornerback earlier in the first round, but they're saying that there's more value in taking the the offensive lineman in the first round and lock him under contract because you're going to get more years out of him as opposed to paying a corner first round money and they don't necessarily last or safety from TCU, but they, they don't necessarily, you know, the odds are they might not be around for a second contract. A number of years ago, the Raiders picked uh, that UCLA offensive lineman, and a lot of a lot of people with like the 15th or 16th pick in the first round, a lot of people were like, that's a reach, that's terrible. He just signed a second contract with the Raiders after his rookie deal, so I think they're getting a lot of value out of him as opposed to some of the other players that are that were around him, you know.
So I don't know. Raiders have a lot of work to do. So I'm hoping that, that some of these picks work out okay. Why didn't the Raiders draft a QB? They don't need a QB. That's, that's, I think that's like the last thing they, they, that they need. They have so many other pressing issues. You know, Derek Carr is like a, 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 an above average quarterback. You know, he's... So I, I, don't, I don't know if there was a pressing need for the Raiders to draft a quarterback. Unless they wanted to get one in like the 6th or 7th round, but they've got Mariota as a backup. So I don't think there was really a pressing need for them to get a quarterback. Now, I think it's going to be, I think it's for the next however long the Derek Carr, just Derek Carr contract really quick. I think he has maybe two more years on his deal. Yeah, he's got 2021 and 2022. The next two years are basically going to be, do you, is he going to get another contract with the Raiders or not? So... I think the Raiders want to try to build up their offense and I think they want to build up their definitely build up their defense. That's where where they really need to do the most work. And then the next 2 years for Carr will be will be uh, like an audition essentially to whether he's going to get another contract or not. Oh, you're being sarcastic. That's hard to tell in, in text. I was just like, well, Steve Wright just doesn't follow football closely, I guess. Yeah, you got to make it really obvious. <laughs> Otherwise, people think that guy just doesn't know what he's talking about. There's DeMar Chase and Randy Moss. And there's Davis Mills, dual relic and autograph. That's the 299. I think Davis Mills went to Houston. Yeah, he's a Texan. That'll be another one for Michael. But yeah, in all seriousness, it's really the, 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 the offense wasn't the, the issue for the Raiders. It was definitely the defense. The defense gave away far more games than the offense did. Ooh. And there's the dare to tear card. It's Teddy Bruschi. And that's for Karen and the Patriots. So if Karen's here, you can dare to tear Karen, or you can just let it ride. There's to 199, LaMichael P. Ryan. There's Devonta Smith. You have the Bears end up starting fields over, I mean, eventually he'll be starting over Dalton. I mean, short of injury, I think Andy Dalton's probably going to get, probably going to start at least a few weeks. And if he plays decently, I think they'll just keep rolling. But there could be probably probably a short leash on Andy Dalton. But I think the argument was from from all the pundits was that, I mean, it was Trey Lance who's basically, maybe even Zach Wilson who are the guys who are ready to, who are ready to start week one. But guys like Trey Lance and Justin Fields, I think, were, were, uh, were maybe they need a little more marinating before they, they put him out there. There's Greg Rousseau, Justin Fields again. I mean, I, I want to say that 
that Shanahan for the Niners per, all, all but said that, hey, we want to we want to redshirt Trey Lance, have him marinate for a season, a lot like Patrick Mahomes, and then put him out there. Now, the Bears situation is a little more different because I feel like that coaching staff, which I'm surprised that the Bears retained, that coaching staff is probably has put all their eggs in the Justin Fields basket. You know? So, we'll see. There's Diami Brown. I don't think it's a I don't think it's a race thing. But I think it's just yeah, I, th I think you just want to see like you just want to see players kind of develop more. I know Bears fans are excited about Justin Fields, but you got to try to have have any of these young quarterbacks marinate as much as possible before throwing them out to the to the to the wolves and the speed of the NFL. Exactly, Damien. That, that's my point. But like I said, the Bears situation is a little different because I think that again that coaching staff has tied their hitched their wagon to the Justin Fields train. So now. They they are they're almost forced to probably play him earlier than they should. That's, yeah, exactly. It seems like I don't think Nagy has a long leash. Exactly, he doesn't. This is the second quarterback he's drafted in the first round. So he's got to win games. So if that means turning away from Andy Dalton early in the season, they might have to force Justin Fields into action early, earlier than they probably want to or should. I don't know. Surely you could probably work Justin Fields in with some trick play plays and stuff like that. Hopefully they're doing something like that. But I like Justin Fields. I, th I think he's a pretty good quarterback, so it'll be interesting to see. They're going to probably want, like Mac Jones, they're going to want him to marinate a little bit as well. Cam Newton's only on a one-year deal. There's Ian Book, Mini. There's a James Harrison to 100. Trevor Lawrence. From the reports from Bears camp, every day has been how good field is and how bad Dalton was. I feel like those mini camps are a grain of salt, aren't they? You know, if, if Andy Dalton's not getting as many reps because they just want to get him ready for week one because he's a wily veteran, yeah, then maybe he's not not doing so much. There's five out of ten, Tylen Wallace. I feel like uh, I feel like everybody has to. Uh, I mean, it's all a grain of salt in camp. I don't know what to think. You know, if I list, if I look at like Raiders camp reports, it seems like, you know, they're making it sound like Henry Ruggs is going to turn into the next, you know, speed demon speed demon receiver, Ravens. That'll be for Addison with the cracked ice. You're welcome, Hollywood. You are welcome. Oh, 
There's Daniel Jones to 299. Kyle and Kyle. But uh, no, hey, I'm the same way, Steve. It's hard for me to. That's why I try to like avoid like, you know, the camp reports at this stage of the season, because it's like hope spring. It's like spring training, right? You're just it's, it's like spring training in baseball, where you're just like, yeah, yeah. Henry Ruggs is looking good. He's put on a little more muscle. He's doing this. He's doing that. Brian Edwards for my Raiders, looking healthy, looking good. Josh Jacobs in the best shape of his life, you know. Everyone's reporting to Cam. Everyone looks healthy. Everyone's on board. You know? Team spirit is at an all-time high. <laughs> all the all the right thing. Everyone's saying all the right things. So, no, I, I definitely get caught up in that, too. So, I try to avoid it. <laughs> right, see, Damien's doing the same thing. Damien's like, wait, have you seen Justin Herbert? He looks jacked. Right? Then it's just like, then you start to think, oh, it's going to be, he's going to, he's like, you know, he's like the next Ben Roethlisberger. There's Kyle Trask, dual relic and autograph. I think he went to the Buccaneers. Yeah, Tampa Bay. And that will be Rick Thomas. I think there are some raised eyebrows on the Kyle Trask pick, but hey, if he marinates and learns behind Tom Brady, that's it's not, a, not a bad person to, to learn from. Trey Lance, Jamar Chase, we're almost to our last box, folks, there's Greg Rousseau, yellow, parallel to 150, there's a Jalen Waddle, and our first Mac Jones. Damien, you must be drinking the same Chargers Kool-Aid that Sean Jaspi drinks. Delicious, delicious Kool-Aid. All right, final box. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. I'll do a quick autograph recap at the end of this. And all of these cards that I've been sleeving up will be top loaded before they are sorted and shipped out. Just in the interest of time. Another five, 10 minutes in this break. Good luck. And then we'll go through some orders after this and we'll see we'll see what else is coming up. Now if you look at the break schedule, ladies and gentlemen, pinned in the chat and dropped in the chat, there's a Joe's Picks tab. We got the Euros coming up tomorrow. I think I might work on some some Euro soccer picks tonight. Maybe some futures picks and share them with you. That, that French team, that France team, Le Bleu, are going to be pretty good.
All right, good luck, everybody. Final box. We got a Sage Surratt, dual relic and autograph. Sage Surratt will go to Detroit. That's going to go to Patrick Davis and the Lions. Cat Team Mojo. It's $2.99. Justin Fields. Najee Harris. We got to 100. Plaxico Burris, timeless talents for the Giants. There's Panay Sewell, Chrome right there. They've got a, we, they've got a pretty good offensive line out there in Detroit. I wonder how that Jared Goff does need that kind of time. So if he gets it, he could be pretty effective. There's a Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon mini for Cincinnati. And we've got a 10 out of 10 Alvin Kamara under the lights autograph. Alvin! Sanford with the Saints. One out of 10, that is. He's pretty good. There's a Trevor Lawrence. Josh Jacobs to 25. And a Kadarius Tony. We got a quitty pay, 24 out of 100. We got Austin Eckler to 199. Sorry, Mini. Patrick Jones, the second, 47 out of 50. Another Jalen Waddle. Wish we found some of his ink today, TJ, but no dice here yet. I think we pulled all the hits, maybe. Yeah, I think we did. There's Mac Jones. Could still be a one of one here somewhere. Marshall Falk to 299. All right, no, that's that's that. Trey Sermon, and Demetric Felton. And there you go. Thanks everybody. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. That was 2021 Panini Legacy Football six box, half of an inner case. Pick your team number 15. Here's a quick little recap of the autograph. There was the Dare to Tear card. Did not hear from Karen, so we're going to just send that to her just the way it is, and she'll get that too. Thanks very much, everybody. Yeah, we'll get them next time. Listen, the next inner case, just like this one, 25% off of all the teams. That's a, that's a pretty good deal for Legacy Football. So if you didn't hit this time, hey, why not try again in that second inner case or the second half of that inner case. Give it another shot. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.